Hola! Hello everybody! How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano and this is another episode The Universally Love The best podcast in one, two, three galaxies but Ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves And we are coming to you live today Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today is Thursday April the 27th, 2023. I am happy to be talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have another hard-hitting show. And then, folks, it is 2, 12 p.m. Central Time. After this episode, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to get lunch. I have a question for you. What is some of your favorite places to have lunch? If you want to answer that question, email the show, Tony at TonyRezano.com. That's Tony, R-E-S-O-N-N-O dot com. Email me. Let me know what are some of your favorite places to have lunch. One of my favorite places to have lunch is when I'm home in the great state of Georgia. One of my favorite places to have lunch. Me and my wife, we discovered this. It's called Tokyo Bay. And it's in Roswell, Georgia. Okay, Tokyo Bay. You go. It's like a. It's like a place. You write down. It's like a buffet kind of place. You write down. You know, if you want pot stickers, if you want fried rice, you can write down how much you want. You can write down. You can get as much as you want, but you got to eat it all. And if you don't eat it all, they charge it. Which I think is cool. Now, my favorite thing at that place is the pot stickers. I love a good pot sticker. Me myself, I don't really don't. I really don't know why they're called pot stickers. I don't know what they're made of. <laughs> Whatever. Ever since I moved to Georgia, people, I have enjoyed pot stickers at uh, at a at the uh, Asian restaurants. Okay, and uh, I enjoy them at this restaurant. That's one of my favorite places to have lunch. Another place that I used to like to have lunch at which now they have dinner is it's called uh it's a seafood place i like to have lunch there and me and my it's it's called marietta seafood and me and my wife used to go there for lunch now they just they open up at four o'clock so they don't really have lunch anymore which i miss the lunch but that's just me but what if i'm your favorite place to have lunch and um let me know you can always email the show. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're up to. What are you what are you trying to do? You know, me 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 myself. I don't care celebrities and hearing about celebrities. I like hearing about the quote unquote ordinary people. You know, the people that you know. What what are you up to? You know, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? You know. Why are you trying to accomplish this? What it, what is your goal? What is the what is the destination? What what is the journey that you are taking? You know, I'm more fascinated about that than hearing about you know. Ah, I man, I, I, I thought I wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to be an actor. Ah, I don't really care. You know, I was telling my wife this morning. The movies. Eh, I used to love going to the movies. Now, ever since COVID, I don't care. I've been to movies probably once or twice since then. I think I saw James Bond and I saw Top Gun. James Bond was eh, wasn't good. Top Gun I thought was pretty good. Still, still haven't figured out why Maverick has been in the Navy for forty years. And, you know, still haven't figured that part out. But hey, and still flying jets, he he must have excellent eyesight. No glasses, no nothing for Maverick for Mr. Tom Cruise. Very, very suspicious. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to say a prayer. Okay? Let's say a prayer for the Atlanta Hawks tonight. The Atlanta Hawks, they play the Boston Celtics. It's game six of the uh, NBA playoffs. (laughs) And I only bring this up because anytime anytime that any Atlanta team is playing, I have a cousin. Very, very upset about Atlanta. I guess somebody in Atlanta must have made them mad. But anytime they play any teams, you know, I haven't watched basketball all year. But this guy, he come to, he texts me 
First game, they was in the playoffs. And he said, Atlanta Hawks suck. And I said, do they? And I said, well, let me let me go look real quick. And they were losing about 20 points. And he said, sweep. And I said, are they going to get swept? I said, they can win one game, right? Two games? I said, how bad are they? He said, they're, they're going to get swept. But, you know, it's game six. They won two games. And so now I'm like, you know what? You know what, pal? I'm interested now. I hope these Hawks win so they can shut him up and they can go on and go to the next round. They're probably losing the next round, but who cares? As long as they can. You ever, you ever have somebody? You ever have somebody who you like? Sometimes I just want to stick it to them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And every now and then I have a family member. I just want to stick it to them. And this is one of them because, hey, I remember I watched the Super Bowl when the Atlanta Falcons was up 28-3. And they blew the Super Bowl, and they started losing because my cousin started texting me. He said, Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl champ. And I said, hey, slow down, buddy. I said, Atlanta, they are, they blow leads. You know your, you know your local team better than anybody knows your local team. It does not matter if they watch. If they watch them every now and then, if they watch them, you know your local team, whether it be, whether it be, Football, baseball, basketball, cricket, does not matter. You know your team better than most people. And I knew that when the Falcons was up 23, brother, let me tell you something. They blown so many leads. I watched so many regular season games with the Falcons. Please don't hit me, sir. I watched so many regular season games that I said, hey man, they've blown they blown bigger leads. They just they haven't had a hundred million people watching them, that's all. And so they blew the lead. It was what it was. It happened. Move on. You know what I mean? Not a big deal. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're not here about all that crap. Today we're here to talk about something very important. Oh, yeah. And the, one more announcement. I'm almost done with my I've been listening to my book about Harry S. Truman, uh, one of the presidents of the United States of America. It's a very good book. It, it basically talks about Harry Truman. He didn't go to college. He didn't graduate. And he became president of the United States. So what that's telling me is, ladies and gentlemen, put your mind to anything you can do it. Okay? Case closed. Podcast over with. Good night. Good night. Yes, Truman. He, he, he became a senator. He became a president. It's a great book. He became a very, he was a quiet man, but he became a great leader. He became a great, a great president. And it just goes to show you that you can do anything that you want to do okay except for perform heart heart surgery without going to college now if you didn't go to college and you want to perform heart heart surgery don't do it on me okay but anyway ladies and gentlemen today we are here to talk about we're here to talk about bees and the pollination and what what i mean by that is pollinate your pollinate your content everywhere ladies and gentlemen you want you do podcasts, make sure you pollinate that to YouTube. You know, you do YouTube, make sure you pollinate your content to the to a podcast. Pollinate across many platforms. You know, if you can take the transcript, and make it into a little PDF, do that. Pollination, pollination, pollination. Pollinate people. Pollinate your content. The more the more you are able to align yourself position yourself put yourself in a position to where you can be the expert ladies and gentlemen one of the best things that you can do is become an expert why can you become an expert do you want to be on the panel or do you want to be in the audience asking questions ladies and gentlemen you want to be you want to be on the panel and the reason why you want to be a panel member is because they are the quote unquote experts they are the quote unquote people that get paid to be there you rather be the person getting paid to be there than the person than the payee, okay? So, the more you are able to pollinate your content, the more you are able to look like an expert, be an expert, come across as an expert, the more you are able to do that, and like I told you before, it's just like basketball. You Have you ever boxed anybody out in basketball? You put your arms out. You put your stick your butt out a little bit. You box them out. You get the rebound. Boom. 
that's what you that's what you are trying to do when you are an expert you want to be an expert because you do not want to be the person always buying the ticket you want to be the person that they pay the ticket to come see okay and the more you are charming the more you are entertaining you don't have to be you know chuckles the comedian you don't have to be that but you have to have a presence you have to have some authority you have to say it with conviction you know you can't um and ah um and ah um and ah that will get you nowhere you have to say the thing that you need to say say it mean it and move on okay and the more you are able to pollinate your information across platforms the more you're able to gain an audience the more you will come across as an expert you want to be an expert you don't want to be the person you don't want to be the one in the audience you want to be the one and on the panel you want to be the person that they pay five thousand dollars come talk you want to be the person they pay ten thousand dollars talking re talking is a good way to make money being in be the verbal the verbal judo is a good way is a good is a good way for you if you don't feel comfortable talking what you can do is buy yourself a microphone and just start talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and practice the more you practice the better you get at it ladies and gentlemen trust me the more you practice the better you will get you worried about stage fright don't worry about that there are worse things in the world Like I told you before, we all are salesmen. You just have to remember that. We have all sold ourselves to somebody. I'll give you an example. One of my funniest examples I love to give is the time that I thought I was madly in love with a girl that worked at this hot dog stand. I thought she was the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I remember I was in the Navy. I went to 32nd Street in San Diego, the Naval Base. It was a hot dog stand. I forget the name of it, but they wore like a red, white, and it was like yellow, blue, red kind of uniform. I remember I saw this girl. I thought she was the most beautiful thing ever. And I remember I said, ooh, I got to come back. And I remember I went back. I caught the train all the way back like the next couple of weeks. I went out there. I positioned myself as a, as a uh, single man. <laughs> I positioned myself. I lined myself up, I talked to her, and I said, uh, 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 and I started stuttering, and I didn't look very authoritative, I didn't look very authoritative, I didn't look very, uh, um, I didn't look good, you know, I looked like I was in the audience, I didn't look like I could be on the panel that day, and she laughed a little bit, I stuttered some more. And she, I said, you know, hey, would you like to go out with me? And she said, I just got engaged, but this is the cutest thing. And I said, oh, man, you know, eh, ducks are cute. I'm a grown man. I don't want to be cute. I want to be, you know, debonair. But anyway, the point of all that is just to say, public speaking is not that bad. I used to have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it anymore. Um, if you think about it, if you think about embarrassment, when you, when you come to the realization, hey man, at the end of the day, nobody's going to really remember what you did. If you trip, if you trip over your own feet during a presentation, years later, somebody might think about it, but they're not going to think about it every day. They're not going to laugh at you every day. It's not a big deal. It's a moment in your life. It's a moment in time. It happened, it passed, it moved on. The more you think about it like that, the better off you will be. The more you think about, hey man, we're all gonna we're all gonna leave this earth in the pine box. Nothing's a big deal. Nothing's a big deal. The fear that you have about anything, the fear that you have about creating a business for yourself, the fear about anything, it's fleeting. It's I know it's there. Sometimes we all have we all think, hey man, is this gonna work? Will it work? Why me? Why should I not? Why me? Why me? We all have that. I still have that sometimes. I think about that sometimes. But the more you. The more you just hit it. The more you just do the thing that you want to do. 
the better off you will be. You won't even think about it after a while. The thing is, a lot of people want to do what we're doing. A lot of people want to create the lives for themselves, but a lot of people don't have the cojones to do it. But you, me, and anybody listening to this show, we have guts. We have peanuts. <laughs> we have the ability to get out here and we understand that it takes a lot to create a life that you want. Everybody works hard. I've told you that before. I'll tell you that until I'm blue in the face. Everybody works hard, my friend. You know? But that does not mean they all create a life that they want. You can create the life that you want. Position yourself. Put yourself in a position to where you can get paid to speak. Put yourself in a position where you be an expert. Put yourself in a position where you are the man. You know? Be the number one person. You don't hit nobody. Be the number one person. You know? Don't hum and ha. Even if even if it's not so many, everybody's number one. These I remember Harry Stern, he said he started calling himself the king of all media. Because Michael Jackson called himself the king of all pop. Twenty five years later, people call him, still call him the king of all media. You can you are whatever you want to be. You know? We talked about this this week. Believe in what you're believe in yourself and believe in the words that you speak and uh, it will all come true sometimes people talk about manifesting and sometimes that is very true if you call yourself an actor and you go out in Hollywood it don't matter how many times you get rejected I bet you the one time that you that you make it you'll be, you'll be you'll be a star okay and so, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that is it. I appreciate you listening. Go out, download every episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask of you, download every episode of this show. From the rooter to the tutor. If you want to hear something about belief, you want to hear something about something getting better, listen to this show. We get, we get better every day. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, download download the uh, all the shows. Listen and to listen and su- listen and subscribe. You know, sign up for the email list. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of online marketing moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless. I love you. Appreciate you. And as always, everybody, peace.